Well, this may be a short hike today in my quest to cover a majority of the old rail bed rail trails here in southern New Hampshire. Apparently, I missed a small section in, you know, my home area. And when I was looking at it on maps, it's kind of an interesting arc. It goes up and just literally cuts to the west. Heads north, cuts to the west. Not that that's completely strange, but you just generally don't see big arcs in the rail trails. Either way, we're gonna walk it. And I don't think this is gonna be too long of a section for us. I just like to document what I do. And through the videos here, over the years, I've documented pretty much every section I've walked. So, we're gonna get this section too. There's actually an old road over there on the other side of the wetlands that's completely underwater. I did show you that, I don't know, maybe last year. Kind of neat. Well, more than kind of neat. Definitely wild when your road goes underwater and gets flooded out. Cool. We get some of the some view of the mountains. That is Gap Mountain right there, and then over to the right is Monadnock. Sometimes just getting to see other familiar places from other places is worth the trip. Yeah. So it looks like our entire corner here, we are slightly on the turn, is completely built up which makes sense for how low-lying it is out there. Like I said, over there is where the old road is or was. That's interesting. So the original line goes that way, but they've rerouted the trail that way.
that is cool so this is where the tracks originally went wow it's amazing you get down in the granite here and it drops like 10 degrees I've noticed them reroute a lot of sections around here because these just become mud pits, falling rocks, just not in good shape. So I'll get back out on the trail. Doesn't look like it loops around too far, anyways. It doesn't loop very far at all. And then that makes perfect sense. Filled in where the road crosses over. So, the trail obviously gets you up over that. Makes me wonder what's underneath that. Is there a stone arch bridge or a foundation for a bridge? Could be. Oh, pavement. Yeah, you can't see what they did. All right, let's get down here and just take a look at the water real quickly. see across the water there more granite quarry action yeah so over there is one of the larger quarries I think it's private property now but there it is we can see a bit of it Okay, turning back. I told you it was short, but just want to check the edges of that levee again. I'm really surprised with all that water. There was no tunnels underneath bridges. But also, not right here, but I want to get up on the main arc. You almost can't even tell you're on a turn. Oh, uh, well, I guess you can. It's just ever so slight, but like I said, it takes a a complete on 45 over a pretty short distance. Somebody was having some fun playing with the old iron. Bet you there's a few of those around. Well, I keep looking off the edges and I don't see anything. They just might not be or it's completely concealed but I'll tell you this levee is hundreds of feet long thick and wide so somewhere around here they pulled a lot of earth those places are always neat to find too the dig outs That's it really, just a short one, but like I said, it had to be done, the little corner, and you got to use every moment you have to get outside and do something. It's good for the head. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.